Leave it. Yes. Ah, good job. Whoop, 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 whoop. What are those? Those are verbal prompts. Let's talk about how powerful they are. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Dog trainer, behavior technician, Drayton Michaels. Thanks for tuning in to Modern Dog Training. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and pass this information on to somebody who might need it. Today, we're gonna talk about the power of verbal prompting. Verbal prompts are sounds that humans can make as standalone ways to redirect or refocus a dog or to get the dog over to you. They're also great to back up cues, such as leave it, hand targeting, touch, or your recall. Remember, when you do an emergency recall, you don't just wanna stand there and wait for the dog, you wanna motivate them. These verbal prompts can be quiet, they can be medium volume or loud if the dog is far away or there's distractions. These verbal prompts, when they are conditioned, can have a dramatic effect on your dog's expediency in training. Whether you use a subtle prompt, such as a kissy sound, or a medium sound, or a loud sound, all of these sounds are very salient to your dog. Why? There is a section of the dog's brain called the Ascending Reticular Activating System, the ARAS. And this particular area of the dog's brain is great at processing novel sounds and general alertness. So these sounds are going to automatically be associated by your dog as something to check out. Verbal prompts are very easy to condition. Simply make the sound and keep making it until your dog orients to you and when they do, mark yes and pay them a food treat. Yeah, yeah. Leave it all the way. Yes. So those prompts you hear me make, right? Those sounds. Um, those are verbal prompts that you can use as standalone ways to get his attention and focus, or you can use them after cues, leave it in touch. So if I go, Louie, touch. Yes. Right? And those little kissy sounds just help motivate him. You can also use these prompts after cues, such as leave it touch, your hand targeting, or emergency recall. Louie, come! Yes! Remember, when you ask your dog for a cue, such as leave it or touch or recall, that's disengagement, and you want your dog to learn to be expedient. That's a big part of disengagement. So make sure that when you do your disengagement cues, you don't just stand there, wait your dog out, and then they decide to do something else. I mean, that's okay if nothing's going on in the environment and you're just practicing, but you should practice your dog disengaging in an expedient manner because most of the time we need the dog to disengage from something, we'd like them to do it quickly. Remember, sound is a big part of the dog's survival mechanism. Whether out in the wild or in domesticated situations, more likely than not, the dog is gonna hear the sound first and then see the sight of the stimulus. So dogs are always going to orient to novel sounds. This is a big part of training, whether it's a verbal cue or you use your prompts. Remember, dogs wanna check out stuff that's novel, and dogs want to respond to things that have been conditioned to predict getting paid. That's right, when you condition these verbal prompts the right way, you are gonna have an expedient disengagement in a dog who's easier to refocus and redirect. Let's take a look at some dogs responding to prompts. <laughs> Leave it. Yes. Ah, good job. That was like the subtlest prompt. I barely made that sound. Out of the AV room. Louie, come! Yes! Leave it. All the way. Yes, thank you. As you can see, these verbal prompts are a great asset in training, and they can help dogs disengage when they're really distracted or far away. 
As we saw in dog play, they're really helpful. This is a big part of shaping and refereeing dog play, conditioning dogs to prompts. When these prompts are conditioned during play, you have a really good way of disengaging dogs to reduce the stress of rough play and to disengage dogs out of play, which is typically one of the harder contexts to get dogs to disengage from. Verbal prompts are also really helpful when you're doing counter conditioning, when you're marking yes and paying the dog a food treat for sudden environmental contrast. Sometimes that stimulus is too close, too soon, too sudden, and after you mark yes, the dog is still focused and you really need them to disengage the whole way. And when you use your verbal prompts, you can help them turn away from the stimulus that breaks the duration. In many cases, it's gonna stop direct eye contact from people or dogs. And that's really important because direct eye contact in many cases is what causes dogs to go over threshold. So when you use your verbal prompts and counter conditioning, it's gonna help you in many ways. Stop struggling, stop negotiating with your dog. Say the cue and use verbal prompts. Or when you're counter conditioning, mark yes, and then use the verbal prompts if needed, and then pay. Verbal prompts are a really, really great way to get your dog to refocus and redirect their attention, especially in times where it's hectic or they're far away from you. So start using your verbal prompts. Thanks for watching Modern Dog Training. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and check out this video with more helpful dog training tips.